Today I've travelled to Roteval in Chippenham to take a look at this special bespoke fixture designed and manufactured from SMW Autoblock Telbrook to manufacture some special valve bodies. I can see we had this machine, a Deuce Puma 600, it was underutilised. You always need to sweat your assets. So what we tried to do is move towards a different solution with this machine and we involved SMW Autoblock Telbrook to work with us to produce a new type of tooling for the machine. So the fixture's been a great success. So firstly, in terms of machining, what would typically take days for one of these parts is now down to literally hours. So we're probably saving ourselves 10 hours per part there. Um, that has a rollover effect also onto assembly as well. So we're getting a better quality product. Um, it's more accurate, the flanges are more accurate and the bore's more accurate. At Rotoval, we manufacture rotary valves. These act as airlocks, flame-proof and explosion-proof barriers and can also be used as metering units. When manufacturing these on our, on our traditional machines, we have, we have a number of problems. It could be set up, there is a, a one millimetre taper that we machine into the bore, which is extremely difficult to manufacture on our traditional machines. So what we've tried to do is advance and go on a journey to a more CNC environment. From a commercial perspective, we're trying to achieve a number of things. We're trying to achieve better setup times, we're trying to improve more throughput, I'm expanding the business, and also we're trying to improve margins as we go. So from my background in engineering and machining, I can see we had this machine, a Deucent Puma 600, that was underutilised. You always need to sweat your assets. So what we tried to do is move towards a different solution with this machine, and we involved SMW Autoblock Telbrook to work with us to produce a new type of tooling for the machine. The original manufacturing process was quite painful for us. Um, it's a manual setup on manual boring machines and manual machinery. Um, that was very time consuming to set up the machining, but also um, there was a lot of fiddling around with the tooling and making adjustments, taking a cut, making an adjustment, make, taking measurements, taking another cut. And that was taking a long time. I mean, we're talking about days to do the flange operations and then following that up with machining the main bore. Our solution for getting around these painful manufacturing problems was to use the CNC technology that we have available here. So we're standing in front of the Doosan Puma 600 and we wanted to use that as a much underutilized machine. So we approached the official suppliers to Doosan, which is SMW Autoblock Telebrook, and we wanted a quick, reliable solution. So the zero point fixturing gives us the repeatable process every time but also we wanted to trust somebody who was going to give us something that was safe for the operators to use because it is quite a component to turn. From a technical perspective, what I really like about this fixture is that you can machine both flanges very concentric to each other and you can also machine the flange faces very square to each other and that's very important when you want to machine the main feature of this body which is the tapered bore. So there's a one degree tapered bore going down there. That's very hard to achieve in the manual process, but using the CNC, it's the same every single time. And when we come to put the product together, there's no adjustment then or um, machining and fiddling with the parts after we put it together. It goes together perfect every time. So the fixture has been a great success. So firstly, in terms of machining, what would typically take days for one of these parts is now down to literally hours. So we're probably saving ourselves 10 hours per part there. Um, that has a rollover effect also onto assembly as well. So we're getting a better quality product. Um, it's more accurate, the flanges are more accurate and the bore's more accurate. The challenges that SMW Auto October were presented with essentially were to swing the large valve body, as you can see here, on the lathe, which to the eye looks like something that you probably shouldn't be doing on a lathe but the remit for ourselves was to achieve that which is what we've what we've done here the initial stages uh, once i came down here and viewed the component itself were really based on feasibility as obviously we've got to swing the large component around in the machine so you have to look at things such as the envelope of the machine the weight of the machine what it can take with the workpiece as well as the work holding 
So those sort of key factors and sort of information fact finding that we had to do really was the first hurdle that we had to get over. The next steps once you pass the feasibility stage is to get this on a designer's desk. Uh, at SNW Autoblock October we have a full in-house design team that look at all our special projects. So essentially what we then do is pass the drawing, the model, onto our design team. Uh, in this case Rotoval gave us a wide range of components to look at and we had to determine sort of which sizes we could do on the lathe, which sizes we couldn't and have that sort of before and after cut off point. So that's the first stage that we got to really. Once we had a look at the different sizes, we determined that we could do uh, three of the key sizes on, on this machine. So for the OP10 and the OP20 machining, uh, we keep the same fixture plate, which goes onto the chuck body. For the OP30, you need the bespoke fixture. So what we did to make that modular was we brought in the zero point adapter plate which mounts directly to the spindle of the machine and that will allow for the quick changeover of the OP30 fixturing. So somewhere down the line, if they have fixturing for the other two sizes, they can switch from a 200 valve to a 250 valve to a 300 valve in any particular order in a matter of seconds. The fixture rarely shows off what SMW Autobot Telro are all about. It's a good blend of standard product mixed with special product. The zero point itself is a great little addition that we've got onto this lathe itself. But that also future proves Rotoval if further down the line they want to look at, say, a vertical lathe they can, or a vertical borer, they can look at putting a zero point bed on the bed of the machine and mounting similar fixturing so you keep the process the same just vertically. This sort of project is something that SMW Auto October is an environment that we thrive in. Uh, we like helping customers. Ultimately, what, what we like to say is, don't you worry about the work holding, that's what we're here for. So when a customer like Rotoval comes to us with something like this, you know, it's really great to sort of see a project through from start to finish and offer them solutions that help them increase productivity, which ultimately is the aim that most companies are looking to achieve.